All right, family. I'm going to go ahead and try to put this to rest right fast. So, uh, first of all, hopefully everybody having a wonderful uh, night. You know, um, I see a lot of sisters, man, getting on Facebook or getting on YouTube, and they make videos. Uh, and some of them, you know, uh, uh, some, some of the things I could say rightfully so, but but still check the spirit, man, when you come talking about dealing with the brothers. But I'm talking about your sisters that call yourself in the truth. I'm talking about you sisters that call yourself Israelite women, righteous, humble, uh, virtuous women, Israelite women. You come into this truth, and I hear y'all trying to bang on these brothers. You're out of line. you out of line. It's not your job to bang on these brothers. They got enough brothers out there to be banging on these brothers and trying to get these brothers right. Not you. That's not your job. That's not your job. Your job is to deal with the children. And again, I see a lot of these sisters, you get out of place, sisters talking about, well, it takes a, a righteous man to have one, one wife and all this stuff like that. Sisters with that spirit, let me tell you something. You just crapped on your forefathers. You just crapped on Abraham. You just crapped on Moses. You just crapped on... Yaakov, Jacob, you know what I'm saying? You just crapped on your forefathers and many others, King David, King Solomon. You crapped on these brothers, you know what I'm saying? And the Most High had a direct covenant with Abraham, you know? King David was a man after the, uh, uh, after the Most High's own heart. So you need, to, you need to check that spirit. You need to check that, really, really check that spirit. You know what I'm saying? Because... When you say that, you remember that these, these were some righteous men. So you saying that these brothers were not men. So again, stop getting your emotion because most of y'all that make those kind of comments, you probably don't have a man, and that's why you promoting that. That's why you got you and your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Again, I done made videos and I done got on these brothers. There's enough brothers out there correcting these brothers. They don't need you. You got to get in your spot. Get in your place. You out of line. You know what I'm saying? And the problem is, y'all watching some of these idiot Israelite camps who keep telling you that in the new covenant that, you know, uh, 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 basically the new covenant condoned that, 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 that a man should not have multiple wives and they're going to first Timothy. Remember, this is an English translation. The word one in Hebrew can mean many, it could be, it can mean, it, it can mean any, it could be mean more. Again, so so you need to check that spirit because remember the, 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 the Messiah said he didn't come to destroy the law, you know what I'm saying, all the prophets. He come to fulfill. So it was lawful for a man to have multiple wives. So the, the, most, the Messiah didn't do that. He, he did not destroy that. So y'all need to get off that. Now, I agree. There's some brothers out there that cannot take care. Of, and again, there's brothers making videos on that, and their brother correcting those brothers. I've corrected brothers myself with that spirit. If you can't take care of your own household, you shouldn't be looking at another woman. If you can take care of your household, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to ask your wife permission. You need to take care of your household first. But the problem is, you women, like I said, and most of y'all don't have no, y'all don't have a man, and that's why y'all in your feelings. And then on top of that, let me, let me, let me, let me show this, let me, let me throw this out there right fast. It would take a man to take a woman who got kids by another man and raise them. And then he got a wife. See, you don't even think about that. This man, he'd, he'd take a woman who have kids for a whole other man and he got a wife. But again, you and your feelings, because you're probably lonely. But if you learn how to shut your, if you were to close your legs and maybe cut, close your mouth, you might find a righteous man to humble you. But again, y'all better check that spirit. And I'm going to show you something. Let's go to, let's go to 2 Chronicles uh, 24, and we're going to start off at uh, verse 3. And uh, Jehoiada took him two wives, and they begot, and, begot, and he begot sons and daughters. As a matter of fact, let me jump up to, to uh, 2, verse 2. And uh, Joash did that which was right in the sight of the Lord all the days of Jehoiada the priest. So this was a priest. This dude was a priest that had two wives. So again, 
Where are you getting your information from? You stop watching these camps that don't have enough balls to sit up there and, 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 and correct their self and correct their wives. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't even leave their own house. You, you can't take the scriptures and make it fit you. It don't work like that. The scriptures are what they are. If you don't agree with it, you know what I'm saying? That's on you. That's between you and the most high. But to come on here and try to correct the man when, again, the most high, he didn't condemn it. Who are you? Who are you? When you got, we got these righteous brothers out here, all righteous forefathers that had multiple wives. Who are you? Again, because you and your feelings, because you probably don't have a man. If you will sit down and close your legs and close your mouth, you might find a man to humble you. Again, stop making the video, sisters. Stop. Get in your place. That's, see, you see, y'all been westernized by America so much. And again, this man used those taxes. He used the taxes to pay you more money. And y'all, all y'all walk around with that spirit. Well, I make more money than my man. Well, okay, you know what? You, can, you take part in Esau's kingdom and you have that spirit. And guess what? When the kingdom is when when when, when the kingdom is established, remember you took your you took your 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 part with Esau. Remember that. I want you to remember that spirit, because that's wickedness. Instead of you saying up there, you know what? I'm gonna support this man. You know, again, like I said before, there's a lot of wicked brothers out there. I do get that, but there's a, there's brothers out there correcting them brothers, and the Most High gonna deal with them brothers that that are wicked. Just like the brothers out there right now, correcting these brothers and putting these brothers in perspective, putting them brothers in check. You know what I'm saying? And for you people in Christianity, don't even come on here and comment because you don't even know. Y'all been, y'all done told the whole book, y'all done mislaid everybody for the longest. You're done. Christianity is over with. It's done. You know what I'm saying? Because the first thing y'all gonna say is the law is done away with and don't matter. That's why this country's passing homosexual laws right now and, 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 and legalizing all this foolishness because again y'all say the law's done away with so the mean so they're telling you you telling the people that the book don't mean nothing to you so you fell asleep at the wheel so how the hell you got anything to say so don't say nothing to anybody in christianity keep your mouth closed because you you part of the harlot again to my israelite brothers and sisters the brothers i'm asking you if you if you righteous brother if you are righteous brother and you are taking care of your business I have nothing to say. You, you brothers are doing the right thing. You brothers who are manipulating these women, lying to these women, and, 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 and uh, abusing these women, and different things like that, you're going to be put to death. But for you sisters, that's not your place to get in there and make the, make, uh, 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 get out there and charge these brothers up. It's not your place. You know what I'm saying? It's not your place. Again, there's a lot of righteous brothers out there, and there's a lot of righteous sisters out there. There's a lot of sisters that want to be protected and want to be looked after because some wicked Negro did her that. But that don't give you sisters, uh, 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 that don't give y'all the right to talk about what he can't, what this man can't do. You don't know what another sister's position is, and you don't know what another brother's position is. This brother might be able to take care of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wives. If, that, if, that, if he can do that, that's fine. More power to him. But I tell you what, any, any brother with a, 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 a half the sense and know those scriptures, and you got a good wife, the next wife you get need to be measured, measured with, with, uh, with that kind of scrutinized, with that kind of, that kind of uh, emphasis. She need to be scrutinized with that kind of emphasis. Well, you, you don't just want to bring somebody in there and, and, and she, ain't, she ain't trying to uh, uh, con contribute uh, what you and your wife built. Ain't no way in the world I would let, let, a, let a sister come to my house and destroy my house if she, if, she, if she can't do what my wife did. Ain't no way in the world. Me and my wife built up too much. So if a sister ever talk about trying to come over and deal with me, she, no, 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 no. Her shit got to be together. Again, a lot of people out there, they don't like to hear that. And I, I care less what they are. I've been stopped worrying about what people say about me. They don't, pay these, they don't pay this mortgage. They don't pay these car notes. You know what I'm saying? So again, my wife lived beautiful. We lived good. 
And I and, and excuse my French, but a nigga ain't gave me a goddamn thing. So I'm not worrying about what y'all say. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, for those that, that, that might be feel uncomfortable about the subject matter, you keep it moving. But I'm talking about people who understand the scriptures and understand about uh, uh, us building us up as a people. You wicked sisters tearing it down, you need to be put to death. Because there's, there's a lot of good sisters trying to be humbled to, so we can build. Because there's only a few righteous brothers and you trying to, and you trying to block that. That's P.O.D. evilness. You need to sit your ass down and shut up. Now, that's like I said, I'm, I'm keeping it 100. If you and your feelings, you don't like it, I really don't care. But there's a lot of good brothers and sisters, man, trying to get this thing together the right way, you know what I'm saying, and build. And again, if you don't like it, you don't like it. You, there's a lot of weak-ass camps out there that promote that shit, and you need to go to them. And guess what? You still going to find yourself old and lonely because they so weak, they ain't even look, they ain't looking at you. Especially if you got kids. That Negro, he looking for a woman that don't have no kids. And y'all know that. So it takes a real man to take care of a woman with some kids, especially if he already got a responsibility with his first wife. But again, that's how weak your mind is. Because the only thing is you think is just about his penis. You're not realizing this man is taking on the whole responsibility to cover up a whole family. I'm out of here. Peace, love, shalom, water.